Happy day, friends. I am being summoned downstairs to get a toy out of the closet. Do you know what you want? Okay, what do you want? Okay, watch out. This is tricky. Yeah, I can't uh, even open it. Yeah, it's a tricky one. Okay, you go over there. Okay. I can't let her know this. Huh. Got it. One day, I think if you ever become a mommy, then you'll know how to open those. All right, what are we thinking? What do you want to play today? I want to play with... This is the thing we do, is I open it and then she looks around for five minutes and figures out what she wants to play with. Barrel of monkeys? That's a good game. Let's play barrel of monkeys. And lock it back up so that I don't forget about it because I've done that before and all the toys end up everywhere. Do you know how to play barrel of monkeys? Got all the monkeys out. No. You need to scoop them up like this. <gasps> Whoa. Let's see if I can scoop another one up. Hold on, little monkey hand. Hold on, little monkey hand. I got him. Say, hold on, little monkey hand. Hold on, little monkey hand. I get him. Oh, I dropped him. Oh, I dropped another one. <laughs> Is there actually rules to barrel of monkeys? Don't know. You follow one and see if you can get another. Oh, he fell off. What in the world are these monkeys doing? You want to play another barrel of monkeys game? Here, see if you can throw them into the. Oh, look! I got them to hang on the barrel. See if you can throw them in there. Got one. Ooh, so close. Yeah! <laughs> nice! Knocked him in. Okay, do you want to play another Barrel of Monkeys game or a different game now? A um, different game. That lasted two minutes. Where are you driving to in your hovercraft? I'm gonna hop in. No, I'm... <laughs> Too bad, I'm getting in. Oh, where are we driving to? To go for a ride. Woo! Are you my chauffeur? <laughs> will you? Will, will. Will, 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 will you be my chauffeur? Yeah? Okay. Oh, but what do, let's do. This is the gear, so that means like to put it in park, or drive, or high gear, or low gear, or neutral, or reverse. What does the reverse mean? It means to go backwards. In a car, it means going backwards. All right, chauffeur, I need to go to the grocery store, please so that I have ingredients Mom, to make what food. This, what does this do? Those are the windshield wipers. Or you know what, that might be your turn signal. I'm not sure. I think it depends on the car. Where's your turn? Is it always on one side or the other? I don't know, I couldn't tell you. Rear, 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 uh oh, police car's following us. Rear, rear, what do we do? Why are you driving away? You gotta pull over and stop. Let him let him either pass or if he's pulling us over, we gotta pull over. We don't run away from a police car. <laughs> I feel like right here is where I primarily live my life now. It's right in this chair, chair right next to Lucas, feeding you something or another. I need to get you more finger foods, bud. We do toast sometimes, and like dinner is a little bit easier because I can normally chop something up and put it on there for him to eat. But lately, he's just been shoving everything, everything into your mouth, and you're nearly choking. <laughs> and I just gave you a bath because we're going to the dermatologist today, and I was hoping you'd be nice and clean, especially when we go to the dermatologist. I like to make sure that he's like, freshly bathed so he doesn't look gross and I don't look like a terrible parent. <laughs> so we had to switch his dermatologist, which I am so sad about because they were absolutely amazing. Like I feel like the treatment was spot on and, and just so, so good and thorough. So I'm really kind of torn up about it and very sad. However, uh, this next dermatologist came highly recommended. Um, and the reason we're switching is because our insurance switched. 
and the other one is no longer in network. But that all being said, I have high hopes that this next one will be just as good, especially since we've already, you know, been going through the treatment and, and he's already been diagnosed with face syndrome and we really kind of have a baseline of what we know, what we can expect moving forward. So I'm not too, too torn up about having to switch doctors right in the middle of like a treatment plan. Just because it's all kind of already been laid out for us, thank goodness. And I made this appointment two days ago. There was a last minute cancellation that I was able to fill in. Otherwise, we'd be waiting two more months to get him in to see this dermatologist. I got his medicine, I got bottle formula. I'm gonna feed him a bottle right now. We've got diapers, wipes, we should be good to go. I have to go through all this checklist because we normally don't leave the house for very long, but I know I'm gonna be gone a little bit longer than normal, so I've gotta, gotta make sure I've got all my bases covered. Hey in there. Hi. Did you get a little nap on the car ride? That was so quick, there was nothing to even vlog. Just a checkup. You're looking good. Yeah, you're looking good. You're looking good. I wanna touch on this real quick while it's still fresh in my head. Um, Lucas has always been in the one percentile for height. His weight has always been, you know, kind of uh, more on the average side, on the low average side, but kind of 37%, at least that's what it was today. But height wise, he is now in the 17th percentile. He's always been in the one percentile. And I'll tell you why that's so exciting. It's because he has face syndrome and being in the one percentile was always like, okay, why is he this short? Is it just because that's the way he is? Or could it be an issue with his endocrine system? Um, in face syndrome, some people have issues with their endocrine system, with growth hormones and everything like that. And so him having his recent growth spurt and being now in the 17th percentile uh, gives me hope that maybe his endocrine system is just fine and he just need a little more time to grow into his body. A lot of kids are like that. Um, it's so hard to predict what it might be, especially where he's only 10 months old. But that does give me a little bit of hope that maybe we won't have any endocrine issues, which is fantastic. So happy to have found that out, happy to know that he is kind of working his way up on that on that height growth chart. Um, other than that, everything looks really great. You know, still just monitor, monitoring his hemangioma, monitoring that it is, you know, not growing anymore. It hasn't been very obvious that it is the propranolol is working very well. Just kind of monitoring things at this point, um, but very cool to see that he has sprouted up just a little bit in his height. Ready, bud? I know, he does not like the car, you guys, so driving out here to the doctor is not our favorite thing to do. Wish me luck. Not starting off well. What happened today after school? I got two. You got two. Can you open that door? Go to the oh. office and wait for a long time. Wait, you went to the office after school today? Yeah. And waited for how long? A long time. A long time? Why was that? I wonder. I don't know. I don't know. I, you know, I... You... Forgot I have kids. <laughs> I was working, mind you. It was not like I was playing I, video games. I get it. I get but it. But I was listening to a very awesome podcast and just got lost in my work and literally had this like angel speaking in my ear moment where I was like, oh crap, you're supposed to pick up Micah. No, and then you said literally that your I phone buzzed. Up, no. And then I looked down at the clock and right as I looked at the clock, my phone buzzed. And I was like, son of a gun. And I actually <laughs> thought... When the phone buzzed, I thought it was her school calling. No, they called me. But it was you. And <laughs> yeah, I was they like, called me. I'm on the way. His first words weren't actually, I'm on the way. They were something a little bit more explicit. <laughs> yeah, you said, oh. The best part is, is I get there and I'm in a hurry. I'm in a panic thinking she's going to be in the office. Crying. All very sad. All very sad. And she's in there with like 20 kids. And she's in there having a great time and she's smiling. I'm like, oh, thank goodness. And all days, it was a snow day, so traffic was slow. Parents were late. She wasn't the only one. I gotta share this with you guys. So the other day, we started playing this game called Evil King, where basically we wish ill upon each other, but 
only like slightly, slightly inconvenient things. And the girls come up with some funny things. You're not ready for this, evil king. Go ahead, Micah. I hope every time you eat rice, it turns into ants in your belly. Oh. Your eyebrow hairs never stop growing. <laughs> and guess what? Okay, every, every time you eat some chicken, I'll, I hope it'll make you weaker. Oh, no, not my gains. <laughs> and the only thing to help you get strong is things you don't like. Oh, oh, evil! That is a good one, Micah. I hope every time you drink milk, it's warm and rotten. Ew! I hope your pants always feel a little too tight. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope that when you put on new pants, they always have ants. Oh! I hope every time you go to flush a toilet, it clogs. <laughs> That's a good one. Hey, look at that orange. <laughs> hey, every time you try to poop on the toilet, you will fall in it. Oh! <laughs> yeah. And we will push you down. What? Every time you try to make coffee, I will spill it all over your floor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Paige. I hope every time you go to swing, one of the chains break. Oh, that's a little bit too much, <laughs> Evil King. <laughs> hey, every time you go have a Trick or treat, I will take away all your treats. Oh! And you're the bad king! I hope every time you go trick or treating, they only trick you. Oh, I hope every doctor appointment you ever go to has a follow up visit. <laughs> and I will cut And has a copay. I will cut off your whole face. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. I hope every time you go down the stairs, there's always an extra step. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Extra step! Extra step! Do you know what I hope? Hey, guess what? I, I hope you never pass go and collect two dollars. <laughs> Straight and tail! <laughs> Each time you color a marker, and you use the color, it will already be dried out. Oh, dang. I hope your check engine light always stays on. <laughs> I hope your water in your bathroom never gets hot. Yay! <laughs> I hope every time you make coffee, mom throws it away. <laughs> I did that today. So essentially, that's our that's our little game that we started playing yesterday. Evil King. Oh, what? Oh man, no nutrition. I hope every time you need to pick up your daughter from school, you forget. That's what you did today. I know. So guys, uh, we have been expecting snowstorms here in Utah the last few days, but I just got a winter storm warning that says in effect from 11 p.m. tonight to five on Sunday, ex heavy snow expected, total snow accumulations two to four feet with locally higher amounts of five feet. Five feet of five snow? Five feet of snow in the next two and a half days. Or I guess... I mean, it could be two feet. But it might be five yeah, feet. It could be two feet. It could be five feet. Like, either way, that's a that's lot of snow. That's a lot of snow. That is crazy. And here's the kicker. Winds as high as 65 miles an hour. Holy moly. It's going to be bananas here. Wow. 
Um, our driveway already has about, I don't know, six inches. I've already like snow plowed once today, but I think I might go out and hurry and snow plow once again. Not really sure what that weather report was saying last night. Uh, I don't really think we got much snow at all last night. The roads were totally clear when I drove to the gym this morning. But that's wonderful because Micah has her field trip today. It's her first time getting to ride on a bus. Yeah, and I got is, chapstick on. We got chapstick on. So it makes me feel really good knowing that the roads are not gonna be really bad at all on their way to the field trip. You get your own field trip. Micah has been wanting to ride a bus for so long. And the, I do you get remember? To. And you get to today. Do you remember the first time you rode a bus? Or the first time you started school, you were really sad that you didn't get to ride the bus to school? Like almost in tears. I told her, no, like mommy and daddy get to drop you off and pick you up. And she was very sad about that. But now you get to ride a bus. <laughs> very very exciting day here in in our house but we hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and we will see you next time bye friends <laughs>